In this video we are going to study exponential smoothing with Brown simple method in Python using Jupyter Notebook. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, this is an educational video only and no professional advice is included within it. Also, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, it's important to remember that when doing time series analysis and forecasting, past performance does not guarantee future results. Ok, so let's go into the web browser where the Jupyter Notebook is located. So the first step within the video is that we need to insert a new cell below and we do so by clicking the insert cell below button. And the first step regarding the code is we need to import the corresponding packages, therefore we comment this as step 1, packages. And we are going to import pandas as pd, we are importing pandas for data frames. We are also importing stats models dot api as sm we're importing that feature from stats models for data downloading then we're going to import stats models dot tsa dot hold winters as ets we're importing that feature from stats models for exponential smoothing method and last we're going to import mat plot live dot pi plot as plt and we're importing that feature from matplotlib for exponential smoothing method chart. To run this code lines or this cell, we can either click run or we can press shift enter on the keyboard. Then we continue with step number two, which is data. For data, we're going to create an object named mdata, that's model data underscore obj or object, which is equal to, and here we'll be using sm feature from statsmodels.datasets dot get underscore our data set and we open parentheses first parameter which is data name equals on within quotations air passengers comma package equals on within quotations data sets comma cache equals to true so what we're doing here is the following we're downloading air passengers data from our package data sets and with cache equals to true means once we download the data, it saves it locally, so we don't need to go and download it again every time we run the code. Notice that this will download data and documentation within mdata underscore object. So what we're going to do next is create a new object named mdata with only the data, therefore equals to mdata underscore obj, and we're going to get its dot data attribute. And we're going to convert this data into a pandas data frame. So we overwrite mdata, therefore equals to pd or pandas dot data frame, and within it the parameter data, which is equal to mdata, and we're going to select its value column, and we're going to set its index with dot set underscore index, and within it the parameter pd or pandas dot date underscore range, and in this case it's going to start equals to within quotations 1949 comma end at 19 1961 comma freq or frequency equals to and within quotations m for a monthly frequency and the following step here is we want to print part of this data and we do so with print and from m data object we are going to get dot head method open and close parentheses so to run this code lines or this cell in this case we're going to press shift enter on the keyboard and here we see part of this data which is the first five rows, five rows of data and the corresponding value this is monthly airline passenger numbers in thousands so if you want to read the full documentation of this data you can do so with print and we have m data underscore obj and we are going to get its dot two underscores doc two underscores attribute it's a single code line so we press shift enter on the keyboard and here we have monthly airline passenger numbers as mentioned previously in thousands from 1949 to 1960. So we scroll to the bottom and now we continue with ranges the limiting so 
what we're going to do here is we're going to create two ranges, a training range for model fitting and a testing range for model forecasting. So let's begin with a training range, which is T data. We create the object T data, which is equal to, and from M data, we're going to select from the beginning of the time series all the way into the end of 1958. So 1958 dash 12 dash 31. So 31st of December of 1958. And then we're going to create F data, which is the testing range, therefore equals to M data. And in this case, it's going to start at 1959. So 1959 dash 01 dash 01. So that's January 1st of 1959, all the way to the end of the time series. So as we can see here, we have as a training range, it's from 1949 to 1958, therefore the first 10 years of data. And for the testing range, we have 1959 and 1960, which is the last two years of data. So to run this code lines, we go ahead and press shift enter on the keyboard. And then we continue with step number three, which is exponential smoothing. And as this is just a title, we're going to press shift enter on the keyboard directly. And in this video, we are going to study brown simple exponential smoothing. And for this, the first step is we're going to create an object named T Brown because we are going to do model fitting. And as mentioned previously, this is done within the training range. Therefore, it is equal to, and here we'll be using ETS feature from statsmodels.exponential smoothing function and within it the following parameters, which are ENDOG with the data from the training range, therefore T data, comma, trend equals to none, dampeth underscore trend equals to false, seasonal equals to none. And last we have right here the initialization method. So we do this at the following row, which is initialization underscore method equals to and within quotations we have estimated and we go ahead and fit this corresponding brown simple exponential smoothing method so this three parameters trend none dampet trend false and seasonal none is because we have brown simple exponential smoothing method initialization method those are the initial values estimation method and in this case we have estimated because we're going to estimate the initial values together with brown simple exponential smoothing method parameters for an observation here is that the parameters included here within exponential smoothing function together with ranges delimiting were only included as educational examples which can be modified according to your needs so once we've done model fitting, now we're going to do model forecasting. So we create an object named F Brown, which is equal to, and here we'll be using T Brown, which is the model fitting, and we'll be using its dot forecast function. And within forecast, we define steps equals to LEN, which is the length of the testing range, therefore F data. So important observation here, steps is the number, the steps, number of steps ahead forecast. So for this Brown simple exponential smoothing method, we do the forecast for the full testing range in advance without using any testing range data. And we're going to convert this into a pandas data frame. So we overwrite F Brown, which is equal to, and here we'll be using PDR pandas dot data frame. And within it, we have F Brown, data and we're going to do its set underscore index and in this case we want to copy the index from the testing range so we have f data dot index so to run this code lines we go ahead and press shift enter on the keyboard and the last step is we want to visualize this within the corresponding chart so we'll be using plt which is matplotlib dot figure and we're going to add to this figure the following so we have plt 
dot plot and we're going to include t data which is the training range data with its label equals to t data then we do plt dot plot so we're going to add f brown with its label f brown then plt dot plot and we're going to add f data so we add the testing range actual data so that we can compare it with the forecast with its label equals to f data and in this case we are going to modify its line style with line style equals to and within quotations dash type of line style then with plt dot legend we're going to add the legend and it's going to be located at the upper left within quotations then we have plt dot title which is going to be and within quotations simple exponential smoothing then plt dot y label which is the vertical vertical axis label and that's going to be air passengers then plt dot x label and this case is going to be year and the last step is to visualize this chart we do plt dot show open and close parenthesis so to run this code lines we go ahead and press shift enter on the keyboard and we can see the chart below as mentioned we have the title which is simple exponential smoothing on the vertical axis we have air passengers on the horizontal one we have year the solid blue line which is the training range data the solid orange line which is brown simple exponential smoothing method forecast which as mentioned previously is done for the full testing range in advance without using any testing range data and last the dash green line which is the testing range actual data okay so with this we finish with the code file so we can go ahead and save it and with this we also finish with this video thank you for watching